Hey you guys, Downfield Comey here, bringing you some NASCAR The Game Inside Line action. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a Race of Daytona on the hard difficulty and the uh, um, professional difficulty. On the top is the hard, bottom is professional. And uh, both cars are uh, the same, there's no changes on either one of them. I'm playing with the standard Xbox 360 controller, so there's no wheel involved there's there's nothing this is really all that I wanted was just to show you what the uh, challenges you'd have on, on either difficulty if you just jumped in and were, were playing now uh, you're gonna see that I'm dropping back dramatically on the professional difficulty I'm already uh, over a second behind while on the hard difficulty I'm right there, uh, what, two tenths, three tenths behind, and I believe I'm starting to pick up some positions here, and, you know, we'll, we'll move ahead actually passing cars on the track instead of just through pit stops, as I do on the professional difficulty. Now, I do end up finishing in, I believe, 12th on the professional difficulty and 14th on the hard. Um, difficulty so I do fare better on the professional though it's just because of uh, pit stops that the AI drivers take now um, really d just wanted to sit down and just talk to everybody and tell everybody what up what's been going on why I haven't been on YouTube and uh, what is happening on uh, in, in the future for the channel and and what I hope to see going on in the future so first off um, as anybody who's been watching my channel knows, uh, I got married a couple years ago, and last year we found out and, and were blessed with a, uh, uh, a baby being born, and uh, well I guess it was, it was this current year, um, the uh, 2014 um, in March when he was born, and um, as anybody which, with children could tell you or, or knows that um, the majority of my time has been taken up with taking care of him and I absolutely love that and I absolutely love my son and taking care of him and, and, and just enjoying all the time that I get to spend with him but uh, because of that time that I'm taking to spend with him I, I don't have as much time playing to play video games or to work on my channel or to work on videos or anything of that nature now that he's getting a little bit older and uh, takes a little bit more routine naps throughout the day, uh, I've been able to get in a little bit more gameplay and, and um, of course now I'm getting a little bit more time to work on videos, so that's what I am doing. So that's been the, the biggest thing that has changed and the biggest thing that has been taking up the majority of my time this past year, but uh, that's not the only thing that's changed. Uh, of course, after you know, my son was born, I uh, decided that it was time for me to change uh, work positions and um, for the past 10 years I've been working full time with the Air National Guard and this year I decided that I wanted to start working on some things that were going to help me in the future with my career. So I moved and I'm now working in the IT department at the local hospital, or one of the local hospitals, and I have been enjoying that but I'm doing everything that I can to learn what I need to learn and, and do what I need to do to help myself uh, progress in the future and get a um, better position, higher paying position so that I can take care of my family and, and, and do what I need to do there as well. And finally, the, the, the past couple of years I've been working on my master's degree and for the past year that's been particularly uh, interesting and difficult some of the classes have been more advanced level courses and um, you know uh, higher management pro programming classes and and project management classes and, and things of that nature and um, and it's it's all working towards um, getting an IT uh, masters uh, specializing in programming and, and project management so uh, hopefully that uh, in the future, once I get done with that, I'll I'll be able to find a position that I'll be able to utilize that degree in the the best way possible. But those are the things that have really been um, taking up a lot of the time uh, that I would normally have been spending time playing video games. That's what I've been doing. Now instead of doing all that this year, uh, um, well. Instead of playing video games and doing all that this year, I've, I've been focused on, on getting all those things taken care of. 
But this year, uh, I've got a little bit of extra time because I, I am starting to wrap up my master's program. But like I said before, with um, our son, he's taking a little bit more normalized scheduled naps uh, throughout the day. And I'll be able to really sit down and work on some things while he's taking those naps and, and doing those things. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to some of the different things that I've got coming for, for you guys. Um, first of all, I have uh, restarted um, all my work on the Halo Story Project, and I've got the first two or three episodes completely written, and I've just got to get some really good gameplay for you guys to, to put behind those. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to continue doing what I was doing before, play through Halo Reach, and take that gameplay and, and use that as the backdrop of the first few chapters. And then once I get to a point, I'll move over to uh, Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, of course, I'll be you know, playing that on the Master Chief Collection. And then after a few more um, chapters, I'll move to Halo 2, Halo 3, um, Halo 3 ODST, Halo 4, and, and so on. Um, the uh, I've got to figure out exactly where Halo uh, Wars comes into um, that timeline. But we'll, uh, we'll probably get some Halo Wars in that gameplay as well. And then some of the other things that I've been thinking about doing is uh, um, some Call of Duty. Uh, get some, maybe some old school Call of Duty on my PlayStation um, kicked up for you guys. And, um, the, you know, of course, if I can afford it this year, I might pick up a um, PlayStation 4 and see if there's any games on, on there that we can you know, get together and play on or, or, or get some videos created for you. Um, right now, I don't have one. Uh, there's just not any real particular games that are, are, are exclusive to the PlayStation that I'm really, really excited about. And that's one of the things that's been kind of difficult is um, deciding to spend that much money on a uh, gaming system that I'm not 100% sure that I want to play on um, any of those particular games. Uh, like I said, there's there's a few games that are coming out for the Xbox that I'm excited about, but there's not really that any games that I'm really excited about for the PlayStation just yet. Um, there's some things that are supposedly coming out this next year that I'm kind of interested in, and we'll continue watching and, and seeing if there's anything that uh, I like there. But... Uh, you know, we'll we'll get together and we'll get some new games coming up and we'll get some new videos coming up and, and showing on the uh, on the channel here, and uh, hopefully here in the near future you'll see some good stuff that you like and um, uh, you know some some interesting things. So we're coming up to the end of this video. As you can see, I'm 12th on the bottom and 14th on the top, just like I said uh, I thought I was earlier. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave me a like, favorite, subscribe, tell some of your friends. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. See you.